Jen and Ben, many of those protests held right here on these steps in Hamden, as well as neighboring New Haven and every town across the state. Those local activists tell me that this verdict brought them a sense of relief, but that this is only the start in getting equality. This was served. You know, we all saw what we saw. The video was pretty clear. Justice is how local community organizer Rhonda Caldwell described the verdict in the trial of Derek Chauvin. Chauvin charged with second and third degree murder and second degree manslaughter and the killing of George Floyd. Um, I know people probably feel uh, emotions in their bodies and, and reactions in their bodies and, and, and some people you know I've been having the chills all day I'm just waiting for the verdict but this verdict isn't the end while it brings a sense of justice local activists say there are far too many other instances in the state where justice is still waiting to be served there's countless names in Connecticut in Connecticut of victims um, who have yet to have any accountability or any reconciliation or any recompass from the state um, and it's egregious. Ellington referencing the Hamden officer involved shooting of Stephanie Washington and Paul Witherspoon on April 16, 2019, the shooting of Jason Negron in Bridgeport in July of 2017 and many others that she and others agree still need to be reckoned with. The fight is not over. We're not done. The fight is that we need to have justice in all of these cases. They say this starts with continuing to mobilize, speaking out against injustices in the community and holding people accountable for their actions. Public safety and policing are not always synonymous, and I'm hoping that the police will help us promote public safety. Another thing they hope is that this trial continues the conversation on justice and equality conversation that will continue long after this trial and they say needs to happen in our homes in order to enact change. In Hamden, Dave Puglisi, Fox 61 News. Dave.